So how do you guys like my new intro? Special thanks goes to Ruza from EXP. Go check out his channel, the link is below. Uh, for that intro, he's done an amazing job with it. Really appreciate it. You know, it's no secret, I love coffee. I love a good cup of coffee. As you can see here, I've got a, a really great uh, Americano, double shot Americano, I love a really strong one. It's actually called a Red Eye, and it's a really great cup of coffee. I uh, thoroughly enjoy my coffee, so yeah. So what this video is about is about practical prints again. And this is a part two. The part one of that uh, video went well. Uh, I was really happy with the number of views I got it. So I thought, why not do another one? Because yeah, practical prints is what it's all about. This is why we buy a 3D printer. 3D printers have become so unbelievably useful. Uh, I use it all the time to make things for the home and for around the house and you know, just things that make life easier. Now, an example of this, as I say, I love my coffee. Watch out. Mm, damn, that's a good cup of coffee. So I usually buy one kilogram bags of coffee, okay? But sealing them up is a little bit of a, a mission and a pain. So I found this print online. Now this is a this is a print on Thingiverse. I'll put the link below. Uh, this is from Millet. Now, to me, that is also exciting. Millet is a big company that do lots of things around uh, coffee and around appliances and stuff like that. And it's really fascinating that they launched an STL on Thingiverse for free for this coffee sealer, the bag sealer. So it's very well designed. Um, it prints out as a single piece like this and then you print out your, your lid separately. And this here will then hold your coffee bag and seal it. So all you do is you cut, now I hope I can do this properly. You cut open one side of your coffee bag. You put uh, the, you put the Malia sealer into the, into the, uh, the mouth of it and then you close up and it clicks in place. It's even got a little hinge, a little uh, attaching mechanism there that it hinge. You put the lid on and this keeps your coffee fresh for, for longer. And it's also inside the spout here is a handy pouring spout. So it pours out beautifully into the coffee machine. So I really chuffed with this print and uh, how well it came out. Uh, I, in my STL, I will show that there's, there's supports must not be placed here, here or here, but there is a little bit of support here. So a little bit of a tricky print in some ways but well worth it printed they've got two types there one for the one kilogram bag and one for a 250 gram bag so guys print this out this is a really great thing i'll put them in the link below now another thing about 3d printers is they solve problems okay i've got this uh hyperdrive uh, usb type c to everything okay it's a nice little hub that i use on my desk now i used to plug it into my computer i let that lie free and it would move around get in the way of things so i modeled this up in fusion 360 and uh it came out really nicely i'm actually really impressed at how this came out it was really easy to model up it took uh, maybe a half an hour uh, you don't need special skills in Fusion 360. There's tons of videos to help you with your little projects that you want to do. I took very accurate me measurements with a vernier and those measurements transferred through to the print perfectly. It is such a good fit. So now this lies on my desk like that, okay? With all the peripherals plugged in and that plugged in, I can screw it down. I've put some holes in the bottom here. You can screw it down, but I don't. I just let it lie loose on my desk and it works like an absolute charm. It just neatens everything up so nicely. So that I'll, I'll put this STL on Thingiverse and put in a link below. Um, but really guys, this is another reason why I love 3D printing is because you can print something out, you can make something yourself, print it out that doesn't exist. This almost looks store-bought. It came out so well. I'm really impressed how this came out and uh, yeah, it works like a charm. My next thing about practical 3D prints is often as 3D printer guys ourselves, we love to tinker. So, you know, we love to tinker with things like, um, like Raspberry Pis, okay? Uh, but most of the times the Raspberry Pi case is quite expensive to buy. There are hundreds, literally hundreds of models on Thingiverse for different boxes for the Ender 3. So I printed this one out and it seals up beautifully. I put some self-tapping screws in there and that seals up and now I've got a safe box that I can use my Raspberry Pi in for my Octoprint, which you must go check out the video here. I published that just recently. My next print is I love to do 
things with my cell phone because my cell phone camera is really a really good cell uh, camera on it okay i need a stand so yeah printed a stand right these are expensive to buy and i printed this one out and it works well it does what i needed to do but i need something to hold my cell phone well ta-da there we go we print this out to hold the cell phone i made a funny mistake with this one i actually printed this one quite a long time ago and I put a screw through here, a nice tight screw so that it would be a good seal. And I cut the screws afterwards with a Dremel. Big mistake. Okay, well, big mistake. It was a mistake because as you can see that the screws have now melted into the plastic, deformed the plastic a bit. So with things like PLA, cut uh, before you put things in here, measure it out, measure your bolt, then cut it and then put it in. But I just got a little bit, uh, a little bit lazy there and I did pay a little bit of a price. Not much, it's not, it hasn't diminished the use. It still holds the cell phone absolutely perfectly. Okay, so uh, this is a great little addition for my videos so that I can take those B-roll shots. For my last practical print of today, you know, cell phones are a valuable commodity. They are, uh, they're expensive. They're expensive to repair, especially when you break the glass. And this is my daughter's cell phone. So as you can see here, I've printed in TPU, it's a flexible case. I printed in TPU a little case for her. This was specifically for her. It's got a little penguin on the front there, a cute little case specifically for her. And uh, she loves it because we, we didn't have a case for this cell phone and uh, she wanted a case. So I 3D printed one for her for next to nothing. A roll of TPU um, is $30, $40 and you print, you hardly use any of the roll to print out a case like this. So really a great thing to print as a practical print because you can uh, you can protect your, your valuables and you can make cases around things like this. And people model up cases for these all the time. I will bet you anything, I haven't looked, I'll bet you if you go onto Thingiverse and uh, search for the uh, new Samsung Ultra, the Note 10, no 20, sorry, that hasn't even come out yet. I bet you'll find a case for it. That's how quickly these things get out there. So yeah, I, this is my collection of practical prints for today. I really love these prints and uh, I just think you guys must invest in a 3D printer, get yourself a small Ender 3 or a Tronhu. That Tronhu was quite an impressive machine and get start printing. Just let your imagination go wild. And if you can't find something on Thingiverse, make it yourself. Go into Fusion 3, uh, 360. Fusion 360 is free to guys who, who use it for, for hobbies. So use it and create these wonderful items that are really easy to create. I hope this video has inspired you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm so close as I speak now. I'm so close to a thousand subs. I'll probably go over that today or tomorrow. Really excited about that. Um, well, today and tomorrow the time I'm recording. So <laughs> not by the time I publish this video. This video is going to be published about a week from now. So guys, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe to this channel. We are growing. Also, uh, consider supporting us on um, a Patreon or buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. I love my coffee. So guys, have a great day. God bless. Stay well, stay safe and speak to you soon.